Women get this confused too. They're like, I slept with Drake and I consider him a 10, therefore I can get commitment from a nine. This is another mistake they make. They say, well, because I got sex from a 10, therefore I can get commitment from a nine. Not realizing if I... You say that you shouldn't go down on girls because it makes them uh, makes them chase after you more. Yes, um, this is toxic, and I believe it is. Um, but I, I just noticed that when I don't give girls head, I've stopped for a while now. They just they it's like they it's like a chase. They want to figure out why. They want to figure out you know will you do it for them? Oh, I don't give. I don't. I don't really eat. I don't go down on girls. Well, they, they kind of want to stick around and see if they can get me to do it for them. Lada. It's, it's kind of like this chase. That's absolutely not true. Go ahead, Lada. If, if, some, if someone tells me, if someone tells okay. me that they're not going to eat my pussy, it's done deal from there. Okay, we'll see. No. I'm just curious. Yeah. I want, hey, listen, I'm no, doing this a, one to go that's viral. A, that's an easy I, I, like, I will, nah. tell, I will tell you that that I have and haven't, and I got to say that like I kind of lean towards what he's saying. I have noticed that when I just care less about the interaction uh, and I put myself first, that the girl tends to be more attracted afterwards. Not going down or is one of the things. Now, my, my girlfriend and I have been together for years, so like it's different, but the it, uh, but what he's saying, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I tend to see that it tends to be more I true. Could, I could see it working, but it, that's me personally, but yeah. I could see it working because girls, or it fucks with a girl when you don't want them. Yes. Yeah. That's what that if was his point. If you don't want to give her head, she's going to be like, well, why? Like he said. Me, I'm like, no, nah, I ain't even going to chase. Shit. I'm not <laughs> working for that. You ain't giving head. You ain't giving head. We're done. Cool. That's going to go viral, I promise. The other one I love, this is really great. I really think guys should all listen to this. You should not be asking for commitment. Man, that's, that is beyond true. I realized this. With my with the girlfriend of mine that, that I talk about in college, I kind of was the one pushing for a relationship. Even the girl who quote unquote broke my heart, I was the one looking for something more. And I realized that's just not what women want. Women want to feel like they earned you. Women want to feel like they forced you into it, not you. Because what that tells a girl when you want a relationship, when you ask for commitment is, I think you're the best I can do. Yeah. I think you're the best. And she doesn't want that. She wants to be, she wants you to have so many damn options that it doesn't even make sense why you're picking her. Yeah. Like, damn, why did you pick me? What did I, what, what made me different? She, that's what she feels special in. The fact that you picked her over the options you already have. Not that you can't get no other damn girls and then that's, she's the only girl available to you. She wants you to be like, you know what, out of all these girls I got, I want you. And guys rob women of, of this, yeah. this, this pleasure by saying, you know what, I want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to be this. It's make her do it. She, she wants to do it. Mm. She wants to ask you out. She wants to be in a relationship with you. Mm. And I, I feel like the, the more successful a guy becomes, right? You don't got to wait that long, bro. <laughs> if you are a successful dude, you you take care of yourself, you in good shape. Man, you don't got to ask no damn girl to be your girlfriend. She going to be asking you in no time. Yeah, men, uh, women control access to sex and men control access to the relationship. But yeah, you're right. Like what you said before, it's these women who believe that because they slept with a power forward or a shortstop or a movie star that they can, that's what they can get every time and get them to commit. I just know so many girls who tell, told me they dated some celebrity I know. And I'm like, you never dated him. Like I know the dude, yeah. and I know his wife, like his wife knows he around you're just another oh like on the side like and you think you dated him and it just screws up uh home math says that he goes women are stuck on their highest setting so like if they had one interaction with a movie star they just really think that uh, all these guys are willing to do it. and by the way have you met the girl who's who's been engaged five times have you ever met that girl she's hot and she's been engaged there yeah, you've been engaged five times but like the reality was like you weren't engaged five times what happened was the dude was like how can i secure vagina I'm going to yes. take commitment as far as I can uh, up to the point where it's almost marriage. And then you feel like there's a level of investment and then you won't go and f off with some other dude. That's all that's going on. And you don't end yeah. up with the commitment. There's no reason a woman should be engaged five times that there's something, something is broken in that equation. And the the thing you mentioned about the guy whole Matt saying women are stuck on the highest setting. Yeah. I think that's, that's also the reason why dating is so difficult today because it's a global dating market and women have access to sleep with high status dudes. They now equate that as their new sexual market value. Yeah. Like you f Drake one night does not mean that Drake will ever marry you. You sleeping with Like you said, you having a one night stand with a big time baller, and he goes back to his girlfriend does not mean that this is the quality of man that you can consistently attract. Yeah. Like you're still a six, you're still a seven. Like you just got high status dick one night. Yeah. And, um, and, and that makes diff dating difficult for men because women don't want to go back. 
Now she's looking at the dudes who are sevens, the guys who are sixes, the guys in her specific environment, and she doesn't even consider them anymore. Yeah. All because of that one experience. Yeah, because women get this confused too. They're like, I slept with Drake and I consider him a 10, therefore I can get commitment from a nine. This is another mistake they make. They say, well, because I got sex from a 10, therefore I can get commitment from a nine. Not realizing if I'm a guy who's a nine and I know you Drake, you're actually not a nine anymore. You're an eight or a yeah. seven. Like you Drake yeah. doesn't make you more attractive to me. You're less attractive. Furthermore, I know you didn't make Drake wait. If you try to make me wait, I am going <laughs> to move on very quickly. Exactly. There is no, if a woman makes every guy wait, fine. And if a woman makes some guys wait and then the superstars not wait, you're not going to treat me anything other than a superstar, period. I can't agree with that more. I think this, I think that's the one thing that I will argue with women to the end of time. There's no way you can have sexual selection like that and then claim that's not yours that's not how you do it because they will come on here and say oh i gotta make a guy wait three days i gotta make a guy wait 90 days oh but how about the guys that you left in 10 minutes how about the superstars that you went backstage with and you let them like no they, that's not hell you know you don't get to fuck some dudes quickly and then everybody else yeah. gotta wait no 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 that's that and it's not fair to me because if you're gonna deal with a regular dude all right his incentive for giving you stability giving you a relationship giving you a family is because you you're giving him access that you haven't given to other dudes if you're giving him less access he, he's less incentivized. That's, it's not fair to men to get lesser of the sex and still provide for you. I think that's crazy. Yeah, I think the big one also is I used the girl who's like, I used to have threesomes back when I was single, but I don't do it now because I have a boyfriend. Bro, you need to turn that <laughs> shit off. Girl, you need to miss me with that shit right now. Like, that is the craziest shit I've ever heard. I heard so many girls say that. Backwards. It's, it, they have a backwards mating strategy. I'm going to treat the guy that I like and want a relationship with I'm going to give him less access to sex and the guys that I want to see a future with that just f boys, I'm going to give them all access to sex. Well, they don't understand men. That makes you unqualified for a man long term. You're not going to treat guys you don't like, give them more of what you're going to give, more than what you're going to give me. And I'm supposed to give you more. So basically you get this more of you than I get. And I'm doing, I'm having to do more. Hell no. Yeah. The, the other one, this is a really extreme example is, so I have girls come on here and I'll have master's degree, married children. And then on this side, I might have only f escort, whatever. And when I hear the girls who do own fans and have a boyfriend and f some other dude for uh, on camera and she's like, well, I didn't enjoy it. So it doesn't count. I'm like, you don't, you don't think it counts. He enjoyed it. He enjoyed it. Like that's, it's so crazy to me when I hear girls say this, like you think that because you, like I heard this one girl say, well, I had a threesome and it was bad. So it doesn't count. Like, yes, it does. He enjoyed it. He didn't think it was bad. He had a great fucking time. Yeah. It, it, it's like some sex because I didn't get the specific outcome I want means it, it no, that's not how it works. And, and it's not fair to expect men to follow that same logic, right? Yeah. You, you're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna act a certain way. Like, like you said, the only girl. Oh, you're going to fuck another dude with a boyfriend? That dude had to do nothing to fuck you. Yes. Your boyfriend is having to provide for you, give you emotional support to get the same pussy. That's yes. insane. Yeah, because it what meant nothing you? to her, then it should mean nothing to her boyfriend. That's the part that's just mind-blowing to me. That that, nah. uh, And I hear that I, every time I have a girl on OF who comes on my show, that's the first thing I ask them. Would you have sex with other men while you're in a relationship? And about half of them say yes. It's way more. I thought it was going to be like 10%. It was like 40% of the girls said yes. Girls are filming studio often they have boyfriends at home with the kids and then they're out there doing doing scenes all the time and the guy's like well you know she doesn't enjoy it i'm like first off she's lying to you and sec second of all he enjoyed the fuck out of it because he didn't have to do anything with her afterwards bro like you're yeah. out of your mind when you say like bro. that yeah that, that bro, part that's, is crazy that's wild that's wild